Hello everyone and welcome to Troublemaker. We are making a mid-century style coffee table. We start by marking and cutting the 18mm birch plywood boards to make the tabletop. To do so, we have used a circular saw and a homemade circular guide. I have another video about how to make the circular guide if you are interested. Make sure you clamp the guide properly before starting the cut. Once we have the tabletop cut to size, we will proceed to do the chamfer edges. To do it, we are using a 45 degrees chamfer bit and a router machine. Now it's time to cover the edges with a matching birch veneer. First, we cut to size the veneer, giving a bit of tolerance. Next comes the ironing. I like to fix the edging in one of the faces, apply heat for a few seconds in one area, then move along the whole surface. I like to use a piece of wood to apply pressure while the glue is cooling. I think you get better results. I use the same piece of wood to apply pressure against the other surface to mark the edge before using the iron and then make the same steps as before. I apply heat for a few seconds, then move along the whole surface. Once we have the veneer glued in one edge, we proceed to trim the excess. Best way is to remove the excess in a few passes instead of trying to get it flush in one pass. Patience is key in this phase. For the corners is the same process. Trim the excess in a few passes and try to get it as flush as you can. It's okay if you have a bit extra of material over either side as you will be able to fix this when sanding. Once the four edges are glued and trimmed, it's time for the sanding phase. We used 150 and 180 grit. I used a piece of wood to wrap the sandpaper around it. That makes the whole process of sanding way more comfortable. Start sanding using the direction of the edge. The friction and the heat will make the line in the joint almost disappear. Be especially gentle in the joints of the corners. Once we are happy with the edges and all the sanding with the top, make sure we clean the dust. For the finish, we used wood stain, but prior to that, we applied a layer of stain conditioner to help get more uniform surface. Start applying the products at the back of the top, so if you get any imperfections, 
they will be less visible. Once the conditioner is applied, let it rest as per the manufactured guides. Next, we apply the stain and almost immediately we wipe it off. We made two coats the same way. It's important to highlight that we made all this process in three phases. We start with the bottom, we stain it and wipe it off, then we do the edges and wipe them off, and finally we did the top and wipe them off. I am really happy of how the pattern of the wood looks and the final color of it. Finally, we apply two coats of polyurethane to make it more resistant. For the legs, we will be recycling a set that we found in a market. As we going to spray paint them, first we need to sand them, so the paint sticks better in the surface. We use tape to protect the metal parts and the screws. We made two coats with spray paint. I like proper graffiti brands rather than hardware shop spray paints. I feel the finish is much better and durable. Now that we have all the pieces, we can start assembling the mid-century table. As the legs are in angle, I wanted to make sure that they were not going to take more space than the tabletop, so I used my 90 degrees uh, ruler to check that out. As you might have realized, we have added a frame at the bottom, and the reason why is to hide the brackets. The frame was made with pieces of wood just glued at the back of the top. Finally, we just had to install the brackets and uh, screw the legs. And now is the time when I ask you if you have liked this content and you would like to support me so I can keep creating more content like this, please click like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and hopefully see you soon.